Life is like a rough sea full of storms of problems and unknowns. How can someone calmly and positively ride the waves? This question has been around for a long time. Stoic philosophy, which is like a lighthouse pointing us toward peace and strength, gives us the answers we need. Stoics, who had deep understanding of both human nature and the way the universe works, taught us that the quality of your thoughts determines how happy you are. As Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king, put it so beautifully, the quality of your thoughts determines the quality of your life. But what does it mean to keep this attitude when bad things happen? How can we change the things we do every day? Using hardships to build character and spirit, Stoicism is not just a set of ideas, it also gives us real ways to improve our lives. It teaches us the power of perspective, the value of gratitude, and the importance of living in harmony with nature. It also helps us figure out what we can control and what we can't. Beyond that, it tells us to use our energy carefully, Seneca. Another important part of Stoic thought is that life is like a play. What counts is not how long it lasts, but how well it is performed. By following this way of thinking, we can learn to enjoy the present moment, grow our inner garden of peace, and deal with life's challenges. Not as problems, but as chances to learn and grow. As we learn how to stay calm and positive in life, let us take a cue from the Stoics and apply their timeless knowledge to the problems we face today. By keeping a positive attitude, being thankful, and doing things that are good for our souls, we can not only handle life's storms with grace, but we can also show others the way, making our shared human experience a peaceful and joyful symphony. Get your comment ready if you're ready to join the journey. Number 1. Build a positive attitude. Having a positive attitude is more than just being hopeful. It's a deep engagement with life's difficulties that comes from the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Stoicism teaches us that even though we can't change what happened to us, we do have complete control over how we think and feel about it. Marcus Aurelius, a great example of Stoic thought, said, The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. This principle shows how important it is to have a positive attitude, because it changes the way we see the world from one of negativity and defeat to one of opportunity and growth. But how do you start to have this attitude when life is so hard? It starts with realizing that every experience is different. Stoics do the latter by facing life's problems with interest and strength, which shows that they believe every task has the potential to help them grow. Think about the story of James Stockdale, an American vice admiral and aviator who was held as a prisoner of war for more than seven years during the Vietnam War. The lessons of Epicus had a huge impact on Stockdale's ability to stay alive and lead under unbearable conditions. Another Stoic teacher who said that what happens to you doesn't matter as much as how you handle it. Stockdale was able to keep a positive attitude even when things were very bad, and this not only helped him but also inspired other prisoners to do the same. Having a positive attitude is not an act of denial. It's a practice of being aware of our thoughts and feelings and choosing to focus on the things we can change in our lives and finding meaning and value in our experiences no matter what. Stoicism encourages people to have a positive outlook on life. This isn't just a way to get through life, it's also a way to live it more fully, with resilience, growth, and a strong desire to see the good in everything. With all the problems and unknowns in the world, having an upbeat attitude can be the light that guides us through the darkest times. Having a positive attitude is more than just smiling. It means training your mind to see chances in problems and to be strong when things go wrong. Here is a short list of things you can do to start building a positive attitude, self-awareness. To begin, you should know how you're feeling 
and be aware of any negative thought habits. Being aware is the first thing that can lead to change. Write down your feelings and thoughts as the day goes on. Do they mostly say good things or bad things? If you know what your normal state is, you can choose to have a better attitude. Practice of gratitude. Being grateful is a strong way to change the way you see things. Every day, take some time to think about the little things you're thankful for. This practice trains your mind to think about the good things in your life instead of the bad things. Being grateful for something as easy as a warm cup of coffee in the morning or the company of friends and family can help. Affirmations that are good. Positive mantras can help you change the way your subconscious mind works. You say short, upbeat things to yourself every day that are called affirmations. They can help you deal with and get rid of bad and self-destructive thoughts. Some examples of affirmations that can help you are I am capable of overcoming obstacles or I approach challenges with confidence and determination. Surround yourself with good things. Your surroundings have a big effect on how you feel. Spend time with people who make you feel good and give you ideas. When you can, stay away from people who are bad for you. Add accounts that share inspiring posts to your social media feed. Make a place that makes people feel good and brings them peace and quiet. Build your resilience. Having a good attitude doesn't mean ignoring the bad things that happen in life. It means being strong and hopeful when those things happen. Know that mistakes and setbacks are a normal part of life, but they don't define who you are or what you can do. Instead of focusing on mistakes you've already made, think about what you can learn from them and how they can help you grow. Shape your mind so that you see problems as chances to grow as a person. By following these ideas every day, you can slowly develop a positive outlook that will help you handle the oops and downs of life with grace and hope. Remember that happiness is a process, not a goal. It's a way to learn more about yourself and grow as a person. Number two, nourish yourself with positive words. Have you ever thought about how powerful words can be? The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, wherever there is a person, there is a chance for kindness. This simple idea shows how powerful words can be and how they can feed the soul in a world full of voices, messages, and opinions. When we choose to surround ourselves with positive words, it's a radical act of self-care and strength. Words, whether spoken or heard, are not just sounds. They carry energy that shapes our thoughts, feelings, and, in the end, our reality. The language we read, listen to, and talk about, as well as the words we use to say what we think and feel, all come together. What our lives are about. How often do we stop to think about the quality of these words? Are they uplifting, inspiring, and in line with the good qualities we want to live by? Or are they reflect the fear, sadness, and cynicism that are common in the world around us? Being very aware of our inner dialogue and the outside words we let into our space is an important part of the Stoic practice of mindfulness. Another great Stoic thinker, Marcus Aurelius, gives advice when he says, the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Our words have a direct effect on our thoughts, so it's important to choose which ones to read carefully. By choosing to feed ourselves positive words, we build an attitude that is strong, positive, and based in virtue. Think about what would happen if you started each day with a positive affirmation or a passage from a book that inspires you. Imagine how your thoughts would change when you responded to criticism, whether it came from yourself or someone else, with words of kindness. This is not to suggest that we should ignore life's difficulties and problems, but to show that we have the power to choose how to deal with them. Stoic wisdom has helped many people change their mindset and, by extension, their lives. Doing daily affirmations or positive self-talk are two practical ways that people have used this wisdom to change their lives. 
These practices serve as reminders that even when life is full of ups and downs, our spirit can stay strong thanks to the positive words we choose to echo in our minds and hearts. So, let's ask ourselves, the answers to these questions could very well show you the way to a happy, fulfilling and peaceful life. Please share your wise words in the comments section. Being negative can easily take over our thoughts and feelings, so it's important to develop a positive and self-empowerment attitude. One strong way to do this is to feed our minds with good words. Positive statements can change how we see the world and push us toward our goals, whether we say them out loud or to ourselves in our heads. Let's talk about how we can use the power of good words to make our lives better. Being aware of your own talk, pay attention to the conversation going on in your mind. Are most of your thoughts good or negative? Being aware is the first thing that can lead to change. When you talk to yourself, Pay attention to the words you use and choose to replace negative thoughts with positive ones. Pick words. That empower words have power, and they can either make us feel better or worse. When problems or failures happen, choose to say words that boost your confidence and help you bounce back. Not, I can't do this, but I am capable and I will overcome this obstacle. Keep things the same. Like any other habit, feeding yourself good words takes time and effort to stick with. Make mantras a part of your daily life by saying them in the morning, before bed, or when you're feeling stressed. Happy thinking neural pathways get stronger through repetition, which makes it easier to keep a happy attitude. Visualize success. Use positive words and lively images to build a strong mental picture of success and happiness. Close your eyes and picture yourself reaching your goals while saying positive things to yourself that help you believe in your abilities. Visualization makes you more motivated and sets your mind up for success. Spread joy. Eating happy thoughts has more benefits than just changing your own life they can also make the people around you feel better. Tell friends, family and co-workers positive things that will boost their mood. By spreading happiness, you not only make your own life better, but you also make the community a better place to live. Finally, feeding yourself positive words is a simple but powerful habit that can have a big effect on your thoughts, actions and general health. You can use the power of words to create a life full of joy, resilience and satisfaction by becoming more aware, using empowering language, staying consistent, visualizing success and sharing positivity. Number three, take care of your overall health. Have you ever thought about how much your physical health affects your mental strength and spiritual fulfillment? Stoicism is an old way of thinking that this timeless lesson teaches us that taking care of our overall health is not only our job, but also a reflection of our wisdom and virtue. Big Toe A famous Stoic philosopher said that what counts is not what happens to you, but how you deal with it. This strong idea goes far beyond just accepting what happens in the outside world. It includes taking action to keep our physical, mental and spiritual health in good shape. Physical health, which is the most obvious part of our well-being, is often the last thing we think about when we're under a lot of stress. But the Stoics knew that the strength of the body supports the endeavors of the mind and the pursuits of the spirit. For example, regular exercise isn't just about getting fit, it's also about training the mind to accept do not give in to laziness. How often do you work out not as a chore, but as a celebration of your body's abilities and a test of your mental toughness? Mental health is just as important and needs careful care and attention. Mindful eating and meditation are two practices that show not only care for the body, but also a deep understanding of how the mind affects how we think and act. 
When was the last time you really enjoyed every bite of a meal or sat quietly and looked at your thoughts without judging them? These simple actions help you be present and aware, which are two important mental and emotional strength builders. Even though mental health isn't as visible, it's just as important. Stoicism teaches us that the core of our spirit is how we align our lives with the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. It's in the pursuit of these virtues that we find true happiness and purpose. Have you thought about how you can incorporate these values into your daily activities, turning ordinary tasks into expressions of your highest self? The Stoics' approach to holistic health is not about achieving perfection, but about growing a strong mind. Taking care of your health is important for living a full and healthy life. It includes more than just physical health. It also includes mental, emotional and social health. Putting your health first can improve your quality of life, make you more productive and lower your chance of getting many illnesses. To keep your health in good shape, here are five important things to think about. Balanced nutrition. A healthy meal full of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains gives your body the nutrients it needs to work. Cutting back on processed foods, sugary snacks and high-fat meals can help you stay healthy and keep you from gaining weight. It can also lower your risk of getting long-term diseases like diabetes and heart disease. Regular exercise. Being physically active on a regular basis not only improves your heart health, but also makes you feel better and gives you more energy. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week. To get fitter all around, do a mix of aerobic strength training and flexibility movements. Enough sleep. Make it a priority to get seven to nine hours of good sleep every night so your mind and body can rest and heal. Getting enough sleep is good for your immune system, your brain and your mental health. It also lowers your risk of mood disorders and long-term conditions like obesity and high blood pressure. Stress Management do things that make you feel good, like mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, or sports and activities that you enjoy. Chronic stress can hurt both your physical and mental health, so it's important for your general health to find healthy ways to deal with it. Regular health checkups. Make an appointment with your doctor for regular checkups to get preventative tests, vaccinations, and health checks. Finding health problems early lets people get help and care right away, which improves outcomes and lowers the risk of complications. By following these tips every day, you can take charge of your health and make it better, which will help you live a fuller, more healthy life. Keep in mind that small changes can add up to big gains over time, so start these habits today to be better tomorrow. Number 4 develop a sense of gratitude. Stoic philosophy is based on the deep practice of gratitude, which is more than just being thankful for material things. Gratitude is an understanding of how everything is connected, a deep appreciation for the fabric of existence, and an awareness of the beauty in the EB and flow of life. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, often thought about how short our lives are and encouraged us to live in the present with a heart full of gratitude. When you wake up in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love, he wrote, encapsulating the essence of stoic gratitude. But how does one cultivate such gratitude, especially when facing hardships or everyday problems? Have you ever stopped to think about all the many things and people who have made even the smallest pleasures in life possible? This act of reflection can change our frame of reference from one of lack to one of wealth. Stoic-style gratitude is a powerful way to fight anger, envy and hopelessness. 
By focusing on what we have instead of what we don't have, we open ourselves up to the abundance that life has to offer. This doesn't mean that we have to passively accept injustice or suffering. It means that we choose to find joy and meaning in what we have and can control. For example, many people keep a gratitude journal as a way to consciously acknowledge their blessings. Being grateful helps us stay in the present and reminds us of how everything is connected and supports and improves our lives. Being grateful is a powerful way to deal with the problems of today's world, and it also makes the people around us happier and more positive. As we learn to see the world through the of gratitude, we embrace the stoic wisdom that true happiness comes not from external acquisitions, but from appreciating the beauty of the present and the simple yet profound gift of existence. How then will you practice gratitude today? Your insights could be a guiding light for someone. Please share in the comments. Number 5. Set goals that you can reach. It's better to trip on your feet than on your tongue, someone said. Zeno, the father of Stoicism, talked about how important it is to take slow, deliberate steps and speak clearly when going through life. This wisdom flows right into the Stoic advice to set reasonable goals on the middle road, an approach that values moderation and balance over the extremes of ambition and moderation in the achievement of goals. Stoics teach us how important it is to match our goals with our abilities and the constantly changing set of events that make up our lives. But why does this middle path matter and how can we walk it well? Think about goals that are too big and out of reach or resources for us right now. These big dreams can be frustrating, lead to burnout and make us feel like we've failed when the gap between our hopes and reality is too big. On the other hand, goals that are too small may limit our potential, leaving us with a life of comfort and unfulfilled possibilities. So, where is the balance? It's what Marcus Aurelius' help with living is more like fighting than dancing. This image represents the stoic way of making goals, a dynamic way of dealing with life's problems that needs quickness, strength, and most importantly, balance. It's not about going through life like a dancer, but about being able to handle its ups and downs with grace and strength. The middle road tells us to set goals that are hard but not impossible with the resources and circumstances we have now. It means being aware of our limits and gently pushing against them, each step forward widening our range of skills. Have you ever set a goal that was a stretch but not a strain? It left you feeling energized instead of tired. That's what the middle path is all about. Moreover, the stoic middle path is not a fixed route. It's a responsive and adaptable way that changes as we grow and as circumstances change. This flexibility is important in a world where change is the only constant. It lets us recalibrate our goals while accepting the unpredictable nature of life without losing sight. Epictetus mentions a rule that can be used for both making goals and pursuing them. If we follow this stoic rule, we can live a life of progress, balance and happiness without the stress of unreachable goals or the stagnation of untapped potential. So the middle path isn't just a way to set goals, it's also a way of life that is fully in tune with nature's flow and ebb. Number 6. Explore new experiences along life's exciting path. The Stoic philosophy says that life is not just something to be endured, but to be lived fully and with awareness. Starting life's journey with an open mind and a desire to explore new things is a great example of this. Marcus Aelius was a great example of a Stoic thinker. As the wise saying goes, the soul becomes deared with the color of its thoughts. This idea shows how important it is to accept all of life's experiences and let them weave their way into our inner tapestry, adding wisdom, resilience, and depth. 
But how do we become more open to new experiences? What proof is there that this way of living is good? Think about a person who, motivated by the stoic idea of embrace of life's possibilities, decides to leave their comfort zone and travel to a foreign country with a culture very different from their own. On their way, they face challenges that test their patience, ability to adapt, and ideas they already had about the world. However, by approaching these challenges with a stoic mindset and seeing them as chances to grow rather than problems, they come out on top. But why end with just journeys? Stoics are open to new situations in both the intellectual and spiritual realms. Have you ever questioned your own beliefs by reading a philosophical text that goes against them or by practicing a type of meditation that isn't part of your tradition? These four rays into the unknown not only broaden our horizons but also strengthen our character, just like the Stoics thought. As Seneca, another famous Stoic, said, hold on to your youthful enthusiasms. You'll be able to use them better when you're older. This counsel is a timeless reminder of how important it is to keep your excitement for life and your desire to learn. No matter what age we are, it's through new experiences that we find our hidden interests build skills we didn't know we had, and make deep connections with others and the world around us. The Stoic philosopher's journey isn't a straight line, but a rich, multifaceted expedition that embraces the beauty and uncertainty of the unknown by actively seeking out new experiences. We not only follow the advice of Stoic thinkers, but we also take part in writing our own epic story one that is marked by growth, curiosity, and an unquenchable thirst for life's endless possibilities. Number seven, take part in activities that make you happy and positive. Stoic thought is full of colorful threads that show that finding happiness and positivity is not just a matter of waiting, not depending on luck or outside events. Instead, it's a planned journey and an active participation in life's many experiences through virtue and good action. Epictetus had a deep understanding of this, saying that men are troubled not by things but by how they think about them. But how does one live by this knowledge in order to be happy and positive? How can doing certain things not only make our own lives better, but also help us connect with others more deeply? The answer lies in the very core of Stoic practice. Doing things that feed the soul, awaken the spirit, and connect us to the bigger web of life. Volunteering is a great example of the Stoic virtue of kindness, because it means giving your time and energy to a cause bigger than yourself. In the words of Marcus Aurelius's counsel, what we do now will echo forever. Volunteering allows us to step beyond the confines of our personal desires and concerns and touch the lives of others in meaningful ways. Engaging in the creative arts, too, offers a unique conduit for expressing and exploring the stoic ideals of beauty, truth and goodness, whether through painting, music, writing, or any other form of artistic endeavor, we find avenues to convey our innermost thoughts and feelings, to reach out across the void, and to touch the lives of others in creating. Do we not also discover a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world? These activities grounded in the principles of Stoicism do more than just cultivate happiness and positivity. They serve as a beacon guiding us towards a life of purpose, connection and fulfillment. By choosing to engage with the world in these ways, we not only honor the teachings of Stoic philosophers, but also contribute to the weaving of a more compassionate understanding and vibrant world. In this pursuit, let us remember the words of Sena True Happiness, comes from living in the present and not worrying about what will happen in the future. The keys to a life full of deep happiness and positivity are found in the choices and actions we make each day. 
How will you choose to interact with the world? Today, we came to the end of a wonderful trip with seven lessons that will help you stay calm and positive as you go through the ups and downs of life. Timeless advice to stay calm and positive by developing a positive mindset, surrounding ourselves with uplifting words, taking full care of our health, setting realistic goals, being thankful, learning from problems, and doing things that make us happy. By doing these things, we can chart a course to a life of happiness and fulfillment. According to Marcus Aurelius, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself. This quote sums up the main idea of our journey. We need to look within to develop virtues that will help us deal with life's challenges and make our lives more meaningful. Let us follow these ideas and follow the Stoic path to live a life full of peace, happiness and kindness. If today's important journey with the Stoic philosophy moved you, please like the video and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos we post. Goodbye and see you soon in next video.